Debugging PC games is quite straightforward as you can run the game directly in your editor, but what about debugging Android games? Well, Unity made this also quite simple for us by adding the logcat package, using which we can see all of the logs from the phone along with some additional information and we can see all of this in real time which makes it really convenient for testing. And before we get into Unity, we need to make sure that we have installed the package that allows us to build the games for Android. So we can see this in the install step, and then if you select the version you are using, you can click the gear icon, go into add modules, and here you need to make sure that you have installed the Android build support. After that, in Unity, we can go to window, package manager, go into the Unity registry packages and simply search for logcat, and here we can install the package. And because we'll be debugging the game through a cable, so we'll simply connect our phone with our PC, we need to actually let the PC take some of the information from the mobile. So for this, you need to go into settings on your mobile, scroll down where you should see about phone, and first we need to enable the developer options, which in turn will allow us to enable the USB debugging, which is really important. In order to enable the developer options, you should find the build number, which is in the software information, and here you can see the build number, which if you click it seven times, is going to enable the developer mode. After that, you can go back in the settings and somewhere you should see the developer options tab. So we can open that one. And as you scroll down, you should see the option for USB debugging. So we can simply turn it on. And after that, you can find some cable. Well, probably not this one and connect your phone to the PC. And so that we have something to debug, you should either just download the game on your mobile or we can build it straight into it. So if you go into file, build profiles, just configure it all. And as we have connected our phone with the PC free cable, we can simply build and run, which is going to run the game directly on our phone. And as the game is running, back in Unity, we can go to Window, Analysis, and open the Logcat. At the top here, we can select the Android device we want to be using, and then importantly, you also have to choose the application which you want to be debugging. So I will choose the YouTube Tutorials, which is the name of the app. And then we can see quite a lot of information in here. I also have those three buttons in the app, which allow me to either debug some log, debug a warning or debug an error. So if you try to send a message, it's just a classic debug.log. So here you can already see it, logging a message. If I do warning, you'll see it as well and the error the same way. So this is pretty much the same as just having the console in your Unity editor and then displaying some logs. We are using the same functions for that. But here we have some additional information as you can see, which sometimes can be useful. And if you want to filter through it a bit, you can also search. So if I search for logging, it's going to find me those three messages that I sent, logging a message, warning and an error. Then we also can sort it based on the priority. So if you choose verbose, it's going to be showing pretty much all of the information that you can get from the logcat. And if you choose, let's say only errors, it will be showing only errors. If you choose, let's say warning, it will be showing warnings and anything above, so warnings and errors as well. We can also search through these tags. So right now we can see that we have Unity, which will show us only the Unity specific stuff. Of course, we can reconnect or disconnect the device. And we also have some additional tools, such as the screen capture, which I think could be useful, where we can either take a screenshot or a video. So if I do capture, it will take it some time. And we can see that we have taken a screenshot from the application without really having to transfer the image from the phone to our PC. And the same way, we can actually capture some videos, which could be useful as well. And in the tools tab, we can also go further into the window, where we can also inspect the memory. But this one is not really detailed, I would suggest you to use the memory profiler instead, about which I also have one video. Or in the tools, we also can see all of the inputs, which can be useful as well. The logcat is probably one of the simplest tools for debugging on Android, but still it can provide you some useful information, at least when you are trying to search for all the debugs, the warnings and the errors that you are sending to the console. Additionally, if you want to debug the code more in depth, you could also use the Visual Studio's debugger, about which I also have a video, so that could give you a lot more information about what's actually going on in the code. But for some basic debugging, the logcat is definitely one of the best options. If you want to see some more content from me, some more in-depth and longer tutorials, then check out my Patreon where I have more videos and if you have any ideas for what you would want to see there, I would love to hear about it. Anyways, I hope that this video was useful 
If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in next videos. Bye!